in this week's Bleach, Ichibe hands out the pain. You want a piece of me? I don't want a piece of you. I want the whole thing! <laughs> Bleach Chapter 605, Don't Call My Name, begins with Shunsui hopping over the destroyed buildings and says they did a good job of making a mess of things. He wonders if they chase the enemy away, will everything go back to the normal Seireite? But doesn't something seem off about Shunsui? I have a very low tolerance level for stupid bullshit. He then notices Ukitaki has finally shown up just in time to not fight anyone. He says it looks like they let them leave and invade the Soul Palace. No shit, Sherlock! Ukitaki then mentions something called Kamikake, which Shunsui agrees with. A symbol is then shown behind Ukitaki. I got my eye on you! Shunsui believes if Kamikake is functional, they might as well give it a little push. That's what she said. Shunsui then takes his leave, but when asked where he's going, he says he has some business in room 46. Uh, excuse me, you think maybe you could repeat that? Cut to a giant brush being swung by Ichibei, drawing lines to signify the space in which he'll be able to defeat Bok. Oh my god. I do not have time for you. Yeah, so we both have busy schedules, so I'll make this quick. Bach thinks it's a bit too long. That's what she said. He believes that he'll die three steps before that line and proceeds to call him by his full name again. You don't like my attitude? Too bad, you can suck it. Ichibei warns him once more that he should not speak his name so casually and then he unleashes his wrath. Introducing hands. Bach is caught off guard as a giant hand pushes him back. Talk to the hand, cause the face don't wanna hear it anymore. Ichibei manages to send Bach flying as he appears above him to tell him the name of the attack, Piercing Palm of a Thousand Rye. You call that a punch? I felt it, but it was like, so what? Bach raises his hands and attempts to say something, but he finds himself unable to speak. Say something! Ichibei reminds him that he warned that his throat would be crushed. I thought you were kidding! I thought it was a joke! Ichibei summons a hand and decides to send him off another 1,000 Rye to make Bach reflect on what he did. You can't tell me what to do! In midair, Bach reaches for his throat and digs his fingers in and gives voice to himself. Give me the power, I beg of you! He then summons his holy bow and fires several arrows that miss Ichibei, but he instead hits himself right through the chest. I immediately regret this decision! Ichibei admits he never suspected that Bach would try to come back by shooting himself with his own arrows. At this point, he guesses he has no choice but to kill him. That is the scariest fucking thing I have ever seen in my entire life. Much better this week. Shunsui is getting ready to go to the Soul Palace along with Ukitake, who finally showed up after being missing for so long. Apparently, he's been working on this thing called the Kamikake. Whatever it is and however it's made, I'm assuming its sole purpose is to transport people to the Soul Palace. It's crazy how the one place Aizen spent an entire arc trying to reach now has like a hundred different ways for people to get there. Speaking of which, it looks like Aizen will be making an appearance soon. Shunsui saying he's paying a visit to room 46 obviously means he's going to talk with Aizen. He'll tell him the situation and more than likely set him free under the terms that he will help them beat Bach. I guess Aizen will help, but it depends on what he'll be wanting. I want a hot dog, I want a milkshake. You'll get nothing and like it! And what can I say about Ichibei except that he was awesome this chapter. He's crushing Bach's throat and beating the crap out of him one-handed. Granted, that one hand is massive and sends people flying a thousand and rye away, but still cool. Bach giving himself the power of voice and attacking himself just to recover from two attacks was interesting. To me, it appears he basically has the ability to help himself no matter what happens. But the whole shooting himself with the arrow is a little confusing to me. I guess I just don't understand what significance it held. Did the throat digging kill him and before he died he gave himself the voice and the arrow finalized it and brought him back to life? If I'm completely off, I apologize and feel free to elaborate on the real reason. Anyway, each of realizes he's got to kill Bach quick and went all demonish at the end. Cannot wait to see what he has in store for him. Why are you screaming? I haven't even caught you yet. <laughs> So I give this chapter a 7.5 out of 10. Ichibei is kicking ass like nobody's business, Ukitake appears to have made something important with the Kamikake, and Shunsui is heading down to retrieve our good pal Aizen. For my question of the week, do you think the Kamikake is a way for the remaining Shinigami to get to the Soul Palace, or is it something totally different? Favorite comments will be featured in the next review. Here are last week's winners. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, that does it for me. Remember to leave your thoughts on the chapter and answer to my question in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more weekly Bleach chapter reviews. And don't forget you can follow me on Twitter, Hummingbird, and DeviantArt. Links always in the description. I'll be back next week with Ichibei going all out. Peace. Peace.